an object moves with a constant acceleration of 5 meters per second squared. Which of the following statements is true? A. The object's velocity stays the same. B. The object moves 5 meters each second. C. The object's acceleration increases by 5 meters per second squared each second. D. The object's acceleration decreases by 5 meters per second squared each second or E, the object's velocity increases by 5 meters per second each second. For part A, it says that the object velocity stays the same. Well, we're told that we have a constant acceleration of 5 meters per second squared. If that's so, our acceleration dictates that our velocity is changing by the first kinematic equation, V equals V naught plus AT. If we have an acceleration, then our final velocity is not going to be the same as our initial velocity. So choice A is not true. Now B says the object moves 5 meters in each second. So to determine how far it would move, we're going to use the third kinematic equation, x equals x naught plus v naught t plus 1 half a t squared. In general, we're going to say that our object had an initial position of 0 meters and an initial velocity of 0 meters per second. So we can cancel out x naught and v naught, and we're left with a position of 1 half a t squared. Now, for every second, meaning we're going to use a unit of time for t equals 1 second, we would see that the distance we move is in fact a over 2 times 1 second squared which would simply be a over 2. Now a is value of 5 meters per second squared times the second squared. This would give us about a distance that we would have gone of 2.5 meters. This is not 5 meters so this is also wrong because the position is uh, quadratic with respect to t, meaning it's t squared. So our position would really be 2.5 meters, not 5. Uh, answer C says the object's acceleration increases by 5 meters per second each second. But here in the initial problem, we're told that we have a constant acceleration of 5 meters per second squared. So our acceleration is not going to increase. Likewise, D is also wrong because it says that our acceleration is decreasing. But once again, we're told initially that we have a constant acceleration. So D is wrong. The last possible choice is E, which states the object's velocity increases by 5 meters each second. If we return to our first kinematic equation, we have VF is equal to V naught plus a t. If we once again say that our initial velocity is 0 meters per second and we're going to use a unit of time of just one second we would find that our final velocity is equal to 0 meters per second plus 5 meters per second squared times one second which would give us 5 meters per second. So for every single second we're going to be increasing our speed by 5 meters per second. So choice C, E, E is true.